I guess this is it. I'm gonna miss having you around AJ. Same. Stay positive man, and best of luck with you guys moving in together. Much appreciated. AJ, you ready to go? Yeah, just about. Well, I guess this is goodbye. You two take care. You too man. Well, there he goes. I sure am going to miss that sorry bastard. Mainly because I never got the chance to see you kick him in the balls. Tell me about it. I mean I do wish AJ and his family the best with their move to Minnesota. But at the same time, I hope the frigid temperatures make him freeze his ass off good. Given our history with AJ, I'm not surprised you would say that. Well now that he's gone, let's head home. We should discuss some living arrangements since we're gonna be moving in together. Good idea. Better safe than sorry. Carly. Hey, you wanted to see me? Yeah, thanks for seeing me on such short notice. Sit down. So what's up? I want to talk to you about Jerome and Declan. What about them? They felt offended by the way you acted around them during Taylor's birthday, just for being homosexual. Both of them feel like you have something against homosexual couples. Carly, you know that's not true. Well Jerome and Declan feel like it is. When they introduced themselves to you, you questioned them about them being a couple, then proceeded to excuse yourself. I know I did. But you should also know that I have trust issues with guys, mainly because of my ex-boyfriend Travis. I'm aware of that, but that shouldn't be an excuse for you to be rude and to act disrespectful. I really think you owe Jerome and Declan an apology. Why should I apologize? I was being honest and straightforward. But you were being honest and straightforward all wrong. Now there's a rumor going around that you're being viewed as a homophobe. I'm not a homophobe. Then find Jerome and Declan, and apologize to them for acting the way you did. Carly I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't just cover up my feelings and lie. Serena, what I'm asking you to do is not that difficult. It might not be difficult for you, but it is for me. Just please accept that. And if I have to be honest with you, homosexuality couples can kiss my ass. Serena, you just crossed a major line. No I didn't. Bullshit. It's not bullshit when I'm stating facts. Well you and your facts are offensive to homosexuals, and quite frankly I don't like it. This is not about every single homosexual out there this is only about how I feel about Jerome and Declan. Besides, you should know that I have trust issues. That's just an excuse that you're using, to hide the fact you're being a bitch. I'm not being a bitch. And I'm not a homophobe either. I'm just being honest with you. And since I'm being honest, I might as well mention that you yourself have flaws. A prime example should be when you never stood up for Marcel during Jace and Jessica's Halloween party. Alright let's get one thing straight. I admit I was wrong to not stick up for Marcel, but I had to face the consequences of my actions when Marcel didn't talk to me for weeks. Serves you right. You know, I wanted to come to a compromise with you, over one little issue. Well it's clear we can't compromise, now that we are pissed with each other. Yeah, because you're acting like a homophobic bitch. At least I don't have a sister who threatened to break up with her boyfriend because he screwed things up on her 18th birthday. Shut up Serena. Taylor was overcome with a rush of emotions that day, and she was in a very bad state of mind. Taylor may have been in the wrong. 
but in the end my sister forgave her boyfriend, and they made up. Well they shouldn't have. Taylor should have just dumped Evan when she had the chance. Plain and simple. Are you just going to sit there, or are you actually going to say something to me? Your actions and your words hurt people Serena. Best friends don't do that. Why are you leaving? I think you know damn well. You didn't answer my question. Why are you leaving? Did you not listen to yourself during our conversation? You offended my friends, homosexual couples, and you also called out my sister, all because you wanted to act like a selfish bitch. I don't see what the big deal is here. It's not like I called Jerome and Declan a homophobic slur. It doesn't matter Serena. You crossed lines today, and that is all there is to it. And yet I still don't see what the big deal is. You're overreacting. Honestly, if you say I'm overreacting, that's your point of view. But from my point of view, you aren't the same Serena Frost who became my best friend. Consider this so-called friendship over, and your position as the for real space player, terminated. Fine, abandon our friendship and kick me out of the band. See if I care. Get a life, you entitled homophobic Karen. So, that's it then. Serena is officially out of the group. Yeah, I guess she is. You did the right thing Carly. I know it must be hard losing a best friend, but you shouldn't let that destroy you from the inside out. Serena was a wolf in sheep's clothing, and she led you on thinking she was this respectful girl, not someone who has entitlement problems. It's not just that Taylor. Serena was the very first friend I made when we moved here last year. It's hard to think that one year later, everything with her would all of a sudden go in reverse. Well if I know my older sister like I think I do, you'll overcome this situation with no trouble, and get right back up again. The Kali I know is not a quitter, she's a fighter. So, are you going to let what happened with Serena badly affect you going forward? No. I won't allow it. Good, there's the Kali that I know and love. Now that you're back, I need you to hear me out on something. Go on. Stephanie and I are going to Terry's Hamboy Boys tomorrow to meet up with Jace and Jessica. There's a couple things that must be taken care of. Regarding some of the stuff that happened during Jessica's birthday last December, right? Yep. Principal Moonlight gave me a real good talking to about it a few days ago. Stephanie is your friend. You look out for her, don't you? Yes ma'am. Good. We all have friends for a reason. But Stephanie didn't have that. Instead some of us laughed at her, even though we shouldn't have. My point exactly. I shouldn't have laughed either, but should have confronted Jessica for mainly being at fault. Jace meant to throw the slice of cake at her, not at Stephanie. Also, if Jessica thinks that throwing insults is okay, she's wrong. It's not right, no matter if it's a joke or not. Jace and Jessica may be my friends, but if Jessica doesn't watch it, I'm going to have a very stern talk with her. Everything Principal Moonlight said to me was very understandable, and I pray to God that everything works out tomorrow. So why are you telling me this? I need some sisterly advice, just in case the situation somehow gets tense. I doubt it will, though I can understand where you're coming from if you want to take a necessary precaution. In that case, here's my advice. You are okay, Steph? Yeah, sorry. I'm just feeling a little anxious, that's all. Everything will be fine. And don't worry, you've got me to back you up. Thanks, Taylor. I guess that's one reason why you're like another sister to me. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Jace. Hi, Jessica. Thanks for coming. Of course. Well, Jess, 
Don't you have something to say to Stephanie? Yeah. Stephanie. From the bottom of my heart, I'm very sorry for what I did on my birthday, to cause cake frosting to get stuck in your hair. Can you ever forgive me? Well, ducking out of Chase's way to not get cake to the face might have been intentional on your part. But, you're not a terrible friend either, and we all must learn to forgive others at one point or another. So, yeah, I accept your apology. Really? Thanks. Anytime. Just promise us not to pull a stunt like that again. I won't, I promise. Great. Hey babe, I owe you an apology too. For what? For not sticking up for you when Taylor told you to grow a pair of balls. Hey don't you go dragging me into this. Sorry Taylor, but I had to. Find your inner peace Taylor, find your inner peace. That's a first Taylor. I've never seen you do that before. Just a little something Carly taught me recently during one of our meditation sessions. Helps me try and keep some of my emotions in check. After accidentally losing my temper on my birthday, I don't want to make a mistake like that again towards those closest to me. That would make sense. Say, why don't the four of us continue our discussions over some lunch? Good idea babe. Yeah I could go for a Terry's value meal right about now. Me too. Man have I been wanting to get my hands on a Terry's value meal all day. Hell yeah, they're just too good to pass up. So you two, are you excited to be moving in together? Of course we are Stephanie, although my parents didn't take too kindly to the news when they found out. They're both like, wait until you are married. So I reply, I may have autism, but I am an adult, I make good money, and I'm finally going to be independent, so you both should be happy for me. And yes, as parents it's natural to worry about your child often, but when I first heard this I was like, good grief, give Jace a break. Besides, Jessica and I already agreed that we'd have our own separate rooms, just in case either of us need personal space. Wait a minute. You two actually gave that some thought? Better safe than jumping too soon to a decision that might come back to bite me and Jace in the ass. You two are so lucky. I was hoping Evan and I would have a chance to do the same in the future, but my hopes of that are now slim to none. Don't be like that Taylor. I'm over 100% sure you and Evan will get there someday. Things just have to play out in your guys' favor first. Speaking of Evan, and I certainly hope I'm not stepping out of line by asking this, but how's he doing in terms of his case? Not too bad actually. From what I've been hearing from my mom, the evidence is starting to stack in Evan's favor. Hopefully it'll be enough for him to win over the jury in court. Nice. We send our regards to Evan. Thanks. Hello girls, hello Jace. Hey Principal Moonlight. Hey Mimi. So, you all having a good time together? We sure are. And guess what? Stephanie and Jessica are on good terms again. That's wonderful. It's true what they say. All of us may make mistakes or errors in life. But in the end, we learn from what we've done wrong so that we can grow and improve. Said like a true principal and an even better friend. Hey Mimi, since you're here, why don't you join us? I'll even cover for you and pay for your meal. Well that's very sweet of you Jace. Sure, count me in. Do you see visions of the sea? To fly so high as you could be. 